Today we're making a nice little cold salad for you, perfect for a barbecue or maybe you take want to take a dish to a party. This works great, it's refreshing and just light and it's perfect. In this is a little bit of tomato and jicama, some cucumber, red onion. It's delicious tossed together. We're gonna add a little bit of cheese to it, either feta or goat crumbles would work great. And we're gonna dress it up with a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice with a little bit of honey mustard. It's really delicious, you're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. All right, so here's chef joke number one, and number two will be a little bit later. All right, so I had this awful dream last night that I was making a salad, and I was tossing all night. So I'm gonna start off here making my dressing so that that's all ready to go. And in my bowl here, I have some olive oil, and to that, I'm gonna add some lemon juice. But we're gonna roll our lemon first to release some of those juices, and then we'll cut it in half, and I'll place it into my uh, press and just squeeze about two tablespoons of le fresh lemon juice right into that. And make sure you check the description. That's where you'll get the full written recipe. And next, I'm gonna add some Annie's honey mustard to this to give it a little pep. Give it a shake first, and then we'll add it in. Next, we're gonna add a little fresh garlic to this. So we'll cut one clove, cut off the end, and then I'm gonna peel it off and place this in a garlic press. Smash the garlic with your hand, and that'll help make the peel come right off. Place the garlic clove in your press and give it a good squeeze, and then just slice it off with your knife. Now we'll add a pinch of salt, and we'll give it a good whisk. So now all we have to do is just cut up our vegetables and get them in a dish or in a bowl. And I'm gonna show you how to do it as quickly and as efficiently as you possibly can, because, you know, why not? So I'm gonna use a peeler for the cucumber because that works really well and it's very quick. And I'm using organic cucumbers here, by the way. I'm gonna cut off the ends. And because it's as long as it is, I'm gonna cut that in half. It's just easier to work with. And I stand it up on a nice solid end and I cut it in half. And then I'm gonna cut them in half again. That way it's in a pretty good size. So now I just cut along into small chunks like this. And so you get this nice bite-sized piece. And if you put everything together like this, you know, stack them up and then cut through all of them, it goes pretty quickly as long as the cucumbers stay where they're supposed to. Next up, we have our jicama. If you haven't seen one of these, well, they are a root vegetable. They're in almost every grocery store you can find. Mine has a few blemishes, unfortunately, but I wanted a small one, so I had to settle. All right, so you're gonna cut off the ends and they're sort of like, they have a very mild flavor, kind of like an apple, but definitely not that sweet. It has a thick skin here that you can see. And what I do is I cut the skin off thinly. I don't know if a potato peeler will work very well. You could try it, but I don't think so. Well, yeah, it doesn't do too bad. I just prefer my knife because it's, I, can, I can do it with a knife, but you can try the potato peeler if you want to. Jicama is high in fiber, so it's really good to get this in your diet. It's a prebiotic and it feeds your good bacteria in your gut. And it also makes a great alternative to potato chips, let's say, for, you know, dip. It's really delicious, it's mild in flavor, and it has a nice crunch. Once your jicama is peeled, go ahead and cut it in half, and now you have a, a nice flat surface to work with. So place that flat side down and make some slices about a quarter of an inch thick with your jicama. Then I'm gonna turn the jicama slices on one side by removing the end piece so it's nice and flat. And then I'm gonna make more cuts to make strips. Once I get all my sticks cut, then I'll just rotate the stack and cut bite-sized pieces. And then I'll just place that right into our bowl. So next we're gonna cut up a red onion. Now I like to do the super fine dice here because I don't know about you, but I don't like big chunks of onion in my salad. I have a half an onion here and I'm gonna do some horizontal cuts. You wanna make as many cuts as possible. That way your dice is very small, very quickly. So cut through uh, three quarters of the way. I'm not gonna to use too much red onion here. So I'm just gonna slice horizontally, get them close together as possible and just go all the way to the top. 
Then we make some vertical cuts all the way down each side. I start in the middle and work down each side. Now we'll cut the other direction and you'll end up with a nice super fine dice without much effort. I usually go back through it and chop it up even a little bit more because I, like I said, I really like the super fine dice. It makes a big difference in your salads. And we'll add that to the cucumbers and the jicama. Okay, here's chef joke number two. Here we go. Why are cucumbers so cool with everything? Because they just deal with it. <laughs> Next, it's tomato time. So I'm just gonna cut these in half, take out the core part there in the center, and then cut these into chunks. And then I'm gonna give that a quick stir, and then we're gonna cut up some fresh parsley. I'm gonna take my organic Italian parsley and I'm going to shave off the leaves, trying to minimize the stems as much as possible. Then we'll chop it nice and fine. And then I'll sprinkle that on top. So now it's time to add the dressing. Now give that a nice stir to coat. Now I'm going to add the goat cheese crumbles or feta, whatever you want to use, and then some avocado. I'm adding a half of an avocado here and I'm going to cut it into chunks. So we'll just slice the avocado in one direction and then the other and then we'll just pop it out. You don't want to stir the avocado too much because it'll just break down. So I pretty much leave it on top. And here we go. I'm going to serve this up. Look at that. It looks so beautiful and it smells great. Let's give this a taste test. That dressing is beautiful. It's got a little tartness, a little sweetness to it. You got the freshness from the cucumber and the parsley and the tomatoes, everything. And then you got the creaminess for the cheese and from the avocado. It's a great combination. If you love salads and you want to try another one of mine, you got to try my mixed green salad with lime dressing. You're going to love it. It is so delicious and refreshing. Click the link right over here on the screen and it'll take you right to it. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know, smash the like button for me. That always lets me know what you think. And I really appreciate any comments that you might want to leave me down below in the comments section. So take care. We'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.